and a fabric mask. It's got some uh, gnarly long black hair. I really like this. This is super dope. This is the Blood Angel. Actually, uh, the more I look at it, it actually has like uh, a lot of elements thrown in because it's a uh, it's like a fabric, a uh, scarecrow looking character, but it's also like a a skeletal type of character too, like a skeleton design. Looking at the blood splatter, it also gives me like a, almost like a lion or a clown vibe with uh, the blood splatters going on top of the eyes right there. Yeah, man, this is super dope. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on this, uh, doing multiple different videos, you know, my usual routine on how I like to do these mask reviews. But uh, yeah, this is very, very, very cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'll catch you guys soon. So I just decided to try something just a little bit different, something that I guess you could say is a little bit more out of my comfort zone. So, I mean, typically I've always reviewed a lot of my masks, like inside my room or like, you know, more different locations, but I, I wanted to experiment and try reviewing this mask inside this um, uh, photo shoot box. So um, I've always like taken pictures of my masks inside this like little box thing that I got from Amazon, but uh, I've never actually reviewed a mask inside here. I just wanted to see what that looked like because I know whenever you put your um, items inside this box, it provides a lot more lighting. So I just wanted to kind of experiment with that and I would really appreciate you guys' feedback on this. And if you guys like this look, I'll continue to review masks like this. But yeah, this is the Blood Angel. So he's pretty cool. He's got a lot of cool like, combinations. So um, this mask, it's like a... I'm gonna see if I can try to like move it some. 
it's like a, a latex mask, but it's also a cloth mask. It's like a, a hybrid of both materials. So in some aspects, like here's like the cloth portion, but um, I believe like the front side of the mask is like latex with some like cloth over it. But um, I think I mentioned in one of my videos was that I really like the look of the mask of how it had like multiple different elements to it. Um, actually, I'm gonna try to zoom up on the mask just a little bit more. And so one of my favorite elements of the mask is that it looks like it's like a cross between a scarecrow, a skeleton, and a clown. So as I was mentioning before, the whole clown aspect was like, this looks like some ma ma like makeup of the mask. So I think that looks really cool. And it has this like really like aged effect where it just looks like this mask like has been weathered and just has an overall really, really, really cool look to it. And I like the blood placement as well. But that was a really good choice. I like how there's just mainly blood on the mouth area and on top of the eyes section as well. Also, I really appreciate the little strands of hair. Kind of just makes this character a little bit more deranged. You know, <laughs> uh, sorry man. Um, I, I just had like this crazy thought in my head and I don't understand how I didn't, I didn't like come up with this earlier. But at, the more I look at this mask, you know what's funny? Um, it actually reminds me of something. So, the only thing I can truly compare this mask to is the one villain in The Courage of the Cowardly Dog. I, I don't remember the name of the villain. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think it was King Ramses. You know, the character that's like, like he's like standing in the middle of the road. He's like, return the slab. Oh, you'll suffer my curse. <laughs> that's, that's legit what this mask actually reminds me of. You know, I'm not trying to clown the mask. I'm not trying to make fun of the mask at all. This is just like what came to my mind. The more I've looked at this mask. So, okay, so I've fil I'm filming this portion of the video. I think like four, five, six days after my unboxing video. So I'm filming this literally days after the first initial video I did for the unboxing and when I first like saw the mask like I saw it as the blood angel but as like days progressed I started looking more into it and I started seeing like different elements you know within this mask and then like right now that I'm looking at it more it finally like dawned on me that it reminds me of that character from that you know cartoon Curtis Cowardly Dog. Pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen that. But um, yeah, also uh, really quickly before I forget. So with the mask itself, I'm gonna also do another video of me wearing the mask, as I always do. But um, the mask has a uh, vision slits like right here, like the eyes are cut out. Also like nose hole right here, taking the nose. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, so he's also got like, uh, the mouth hair is cut out as well. So that's, that's pretty cool. So this, like these masks would be really cool if you were to say, go to your haunts, perfect mask to wear. They're easy to breathe out of. I'm gonna actually try to wear this in a little bit. I'm gonna throw on some makeup and then try to like do a little, like, cool little outfit for the mask itself and then put the video together. But yeah, apologies for this video taking a little bit longer than I really expected. So, I pretty much went through like a... I was kind of stuck on what I wanted to record. Because um, you guys saw my last video with the uh, Immortal Mask, uh, what was it called? The Cracked uh, Skull? Cracked, no, Cracked Baby Mask. I reviewed that mask inside my room, but I didn't really like the way it came out. I mean, the video itself was fine, but just that portion when I was reviewing the mask, I wasn't really a big fan of that. And I wanted to try reviewing masks in this light, light box. Because I've, I've always seen myself take pictures of my mask in here. But the thing is like, you know, I've taken pictures in here, but I had never actually reviewed the mask in here. 
and I just wanted to try it out. And honestly, so far, I'm, I'm really digging it. I like how this format looks. And if the reception's well, I'll continue to do this. I'm gonna see if I could like do this for like a few other masks that I, I'm working on as well. You know, the other mask, uh, mask reviews that I have coming up. But um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. This is the Blood Angel. Um, if you're watching this, Jared Von Jekyll, um, I think that's like your name. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really like know too much about like his, um, his story. But uh, I do know that he was uh, a big OG in the mask making community. Um, I re actually, it's funny because I I didn't know who he was. But I did buy a mask from him a few years ago. It was, it was like a scarecrow. But um, the funny thing is, I didn't know he was responsible for the Raven Banshee mask. So around like, I wanna say 2012, I saw a mask called the Raven Banshee on Google. And I thought it looked really, really cool. And I was really fascinated by it, but I never knew that he was responsible for that mask. And um, yeah, it's just really cool seeing like artists, you know, make masks for so long and they still continue to do it. Like it's just something that you really gotta admire. But um, yeah guys, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, anything that I missed, um, really quickly before I end the video, I want to uh, cover like the neck area as well. I really dig just how like tattered the bib is of the mask. Just makes it look like he's just been through a lot of stuff. But yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys next time.